Both these two sides with their results over the past few weeks sit on the wrong end of the League Two form table. Both on winless runs, the incentive for both is there to end their barren run and to compound more misery on the other. Bromley have winless since the 17th of August. They last tasted success with a 2 0 win here against ASC Wimbledon as they've now gone eight games without success. Tranmere themselves are winless since August. Their wait is shorter, albeit by 14 days. Their last win came at the end of August when they beat Carlisle by two goals to one. They themselves are on a winless run of six, so the need for both to get three points is great today. So Luke Norris. This cross finds absolutely nobody. Scored by Tom Davies. Cheek. Playing it forward, Danny Imre onto it. It's a lovely ball to feed it into the Bromley right wing back, and he goes on his own and he's fired it into Rose Ed. Well, he could have picked out Olafela Olamola, who was at the back post, ready to simply tap it in, but Imre hell bent on going on his own, fires it over. Slipped by Charles, but it still does reach him. And now plays it short to Grant, who crosses. Dealt with by Tramir, able to get it clear. Now Finley plays it as wide as he can, and it reaches Patrick. Forward and looks up towards Jennings, who will look for Davison, and unfortunately slips. Well, it's going to make the comedy blooper real and the Christmas DVD that from Connor Jennings. Slipped at the wrong time. First ever EFL meeting, this, between these two. Met in their National League days. Tramir won five of the six meetings. Thompson. Well, now to Danny Imre, who does just about keep that in place. Cross is hung to the back post. Cheek it to Whiteley. Taken on Norman, hit to the gates. Norman, it's deflected out for a corner. Tranmere fans look on. Thompson goes short to Whiteley. The corner taker, Thompson, gets it back. Going to get it out of his feet as he tried to dribble away from Davison, but he's won it cleanly and fairly. Goes for goal. Luke McGee with the save to deny him. Well, they made a mess of playing a short corner. Did Bromley there. Ben Thompson, though, sensed that Davison was... Dwelling on the ball too much, can't hold on to the ball there. Thompson gets the shot away, but Luke McGee ready for it. Reynolds to Omar Sawumni, played at this level last season for Sutton. The ball into Imre. Finley goes down, Imre still going on here, getting the cross in. And Olamola's touched it over. Well, Imre this time was able to find Olafela Olamola. But Olamola couldn't keep the effort down. Sam Finley was the player who went down. Nothing wrong with it, said the referee. Just a simple shoulder pass from Imre. Looked up. Olamola there, but couldn't steer it in. Wherever it is, Jennings for Tranmere. Into Norris, who will hold the ball up when he can for Tranmere up front. Into Brad Walker. Looks up, plays the long ball into Davison. That's a lovely first touch. He might look to tee it up towards Jennings and does. And Smith has saved and somehow pushes it onto the post. And it's not well known to Tram there. Well, goodness me. Grant Smith save. Ended up going the other side of him, hitting the post. And Jennings and Tram is somehow have not taken the lead. through she's got the cross in there there's an opportunity it was on who's been denied Tramir just about back in the nick of time to deal with it shot coming in from Thompson and it's ended up in the stand behind the goal well lovely ball through by Lewis Lee Imre got the cross in again using his body well got the cross in however though off the line by Turnbull Crucial that for Tranmere. Dennis is unable to 
flick it away from a Tranmere player as they've won it back now the visitors Walker Finlay Turnbull galloping and getting there finding Omari Patrick and over the foot in Yet to really see an attacking threat from Tranmere in this game. Could be about to change here, though. There's the effort from Leo Connor. Saw him turns and spin, but fires it over. Well, you saw him do that, and then you thought it might lead to a goal, or at least a save, but didn't do any of that. The best of passes by Davies. Put it into not the greatest of areas, as Bromley have seized and won it. Into now Levi Amanchi. Chance for Lewis Lee. The two subs linking up. And he's not able to find the back of the net. And he was able to get that onto his right foot was Lewis Lee. It had Luke McGee diving to make a save. Sam Finley hasn't really featured that much for Tramis since signing in the summer. Backed on by Walker. Patrick will battle and will get there to Swamley and Tramir lead just like that. Omari Patrick with his fourth goal of the season in League Two. Well, he scored four of their six goals they've got in the league this season. And Omar Suwamni was just a completely all at sea there. Just didn't judge the flight of the ball, didn't get his body right. Patrick pounced and Tranmere lead. Real sucker punch. Kicking the teeth this for Bromley. Here's now Imre there, thread all afternoon. His cross though is defended well by Zach Bradshaw, corner for the hosts. It will be Lee, will fit it in, goes right the way in there. Now Louis Dennis, all sorts of bodies in there, Amanchi cannot keep it down. Well, it came to him, he had to take it on quickly. Then Levi Amanchi, which he did, but ends up over the bar. Well, off goes Amari Patrick as Harvey Saunders will come on for the final 10 minutes here. He is full of energy. The exact player you'd like to bring on in this scenario. Bradshaw's throw is one that's looking for Saunders and Reynolds' pass is short and Saunders so soon after coming on makes it 2-0 for Tranmere. I made that seconds he's been on the pitch and I made that one of the first couple of touches he's had. A first league goal of the season for Harvey Saunders. It's a second for his team and that's wrapped up the points here at Hayes Lane. Well, Callum Reynolds put under massive pressure by Saunders. He then played into no man's land, empty space. Saunders' pace saw him get there before Grant could get there, and he was able to apply the finish and Tramir have a second. And it now looks like he's going to be nine winless for Bromley. Sliding dangerously close to that bottom two. Here's Imre. Opportunity, Congreve! That's a fine stop by Luke McGee. Well, they are just trying to see if the goalkeeper can be called out, but once again, he's equal to it. He says no way through at the moment. Well, this is an important victory, this for Tranmere, if they are able to hold on. Here is now Idris Odotayo. Let's try and get the cross in and does, and Dennis slides in, and there's one back. Louis Dennis. With just that little bit of hope from Bromley that perhaps they could get something out of this. They're halfway there to level it up. As he touches in on Otayo's cross. Not so plain sailing now for Tranmere. Oh. 
Tranmere's winless run is over. Bromley's extends. All the goals came in the second half. The final 15 minutes saw three goals in that quarter of an hour period. Amari Patrick able to add to his tally. Harvey Saunders getting the second for Tranmere. Bromley, though, pull one back, but it wasn't enough as Louis Dennis' goal only means a consolation. Full time at Lane. Bromley won, Tranmere two.